Over the next several videos, we will be walking through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10, in preparation for exam 70-698. There are a lot of things that we need to do before we actually start even on Chapter 1, where we begin uh, creating uh, Windows 10 installation media. So we're going to go through the lab setup first. The lab setup was available. I am an instructor of these classes and the publisher has provided this. I did not write this. Again, this was all done by the publisher. The first thing we have to do is get our lab ready to perform all these activities. Um, it consists of a single physical server running Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 standard and a number of Hyper-V virtual servers and clients. Um, this is if you're doing a live setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip past all of this. These are the overall requirements. We're basically going to have one, two, three, four servers plus 10 Windows 10 enterprises. Now, in order to do this, if you want to follow along using a, a virtual machine like Hyper-V, you are going to need a minimum of 24 gig of RAM. Yes, I did say 24 gig of RAM. And since they don't sell RAM in 12 gig increments, I had 16. It meant that I had to purchase another 16 gig of RAM, so I now have 32 gig of RAM on my machine in order to run these virtual machines. And here's the hardware requirements. And again, that's all this that's only if you are doing the virtual machines. All right now it's requiring two network interface adapters. You don't necessarily need any of these. Um, this is definitely helpful. The DVD, you can use ISOs or um, virtual drives, and that's fine. So let's get our Hyper-V set up first. Now, I already have Hyper-V on my machine. If you have Windows 8.1, um, you should have access to it. You may not see it. If you go into Programs and Features, go into Turn Windows Features On or Off, I scroll down, you can see I have Hyper-V. Now, if you pull this up and you've never used Hyper-V before, you want to go ahead and select this. If it's grayed out, what you're going to have to do is go into your BIOS and enable what we call virtualization. If you're not sure how to do that, I would pull up another YouTube video on how to access your, your BIOS. Um, but once you do that and then um, reboot your computer, you should be able to make sure you have all these check marks. If you don't have all these check marks, you're not going to be able to access this. Um, something else that I've seen before I go too far is they pull up the Hyper-V and all they see is Hyper-V Manager. What you're going to do is right click and click on connect to server and you want to use your local machine. Right now I'm already connected to my local machine. Now the next step we want to do, and I call this housekeeping, is make sure I have a folder set up just for my virtual machines and I'm going to work through these labs. So I'm going to use my Explorer, and I'm going to go to my C drive, and I already have this set up. And I've created a folder called VM underscore 70-698, and right now it's empty. Now what I'm going to do is go here, under Hyper-V settings, and I want to make sure I point to that location. and then select folder. And I'm going to do the same thing for virtual machines. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to look at the switch. All right, so here we're going to create a new switch 
and this is going to be private and then we're going to click on create virtual switch and in the name box we're going to call this private network and then click on OK. All right, and we want to go back to Virtual Switch Manager again, and we want to add one more private switch. And we're going to call this Private Network 2. And then we're going to click on OK. Now we need um, software for this. And these are the sites to download the software from. So you can go here and download for Windows Server 2012 R2 standard. We can go here. So I'm going to go ahead and download these. I'm, going to, I'm actually going to end this video here. And we're going to go ahead and download these into the same folder. And then the next video will pick up after these have all been installed, uh, downloaded.